My cucumber salad recipe is super refreshing year round, but I especially love it in summer. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Let's first go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Cucumber, red wine vinegar, red onion, dill, sugar, and salt. And the two pieces of special cooking equipment you're gonna need for this recipe are a mandolin and a large mixing bowl. Guys, this cucumber salad recipe is so incredibly fast to make. I just know you're gonna love it and I feel like you're gonna be making it all the time. So the first thing you need to do is to start by cutting off one end of the cucumber. And then because this cucumber is quite large, I'm going to cut it in half as well. All right guys, so next thing you need to do is to cut our cucumbers into very thin slices. My tool of choice for doing that is always gonna be the mandolin. And this is because it'll just make perfectly consistent cuts every single time. There's no way to mess it up. I mean, you could cut your finger, but that's the only downside to using a mandolin. You just have to be careful. If you don't have a mandolin, um, what I would suggest is you could just use a regular knife and do it that way. Your cuts will probably not be as consistent, but that's okay, it's not that big of a deal. But again, if you have a mandolin, best way by far. I set my mandolin to be on the second thinnest setting. The thinnest setting is like a little bit too thin for me for these cucumbers. You sort of lose a little bit of crunch if you use that setting. So I went the next thickest setting. So all you have to do is just run the cucumber over the blade. And what you're gonna see are these perfectly cut slices fall out the bottom. And let me just show you what thickness I really love for this recipe. Yeah, that is amazing. So check that out. That is absolutely exactly what we want. Perfectly thin, but still a little crunchy. Now, as soon as you get down to not having too much cucumber in your hand, you have to be so careful. I'm always kind of like a greedy guy and I always try to go as low as I can. You do not want to do that because before you know it, you're going to be running your fingers across the blade of the mandolin and this blade is incredibly sharp. I have cut myself so many times using this thing because I get greedy. So when you get to a piece about this size, about that size there, just be done throw it away or eat it, whatever you wanna do, but don't keep cutting because you're really asking for trouble if you do. With our cucumber slices set aside, now let's work on cutting our onion. We're gonna use the mandolin again because again, it's gonna give us these really nice, consistent and very thin cuts. I've set my mandolin to be on the thinnest setting. It was the second thinnest setting for the cucumbers and I'm gonna go the thinnest setting for my red onion. Reason for that is, is that red onion can have a bit of a strong flavor. So having really delicate, very, very thin pieces is really beneficial to this recipe. So take your onion and we're gonna do the same thing that we did before, just run it across the blade. And I am using one quarter of a medium sized onion. I'm not gonna look at the camera while I do this because I don't wanna cut my fingers off. And there we go. Yeah, look at how beautiful these thin slices are. All right guys, so I made a little mistake and I'm sorry. I just did things a little bit out of order and I guess I was so excited to use my mandolin that I lost my mind. Really what you should have done first is make the vinegar, sugar and salt like dressing that, that liquid we're gonna make first. And then while that's sitting and sort of marinating in, in itself, then you would cut your cucumbers and cut your onions and then add it to the bowl. That's how my recipe is gonna be on the website. So just follow what I did on the website. But for now, I just wanted to apologize. I did things out of order, but it's okay. No harm, no foul. Next, we're gonna take one tablespoon of sugar and we're going to add it into a big mixing bowl followed by one teaspoon of salt. And this is kosher salt. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. And now just take a whisk and give this a nice mix. So just keep whisking until the sugar is mostly dissolved. Now with this vinegar mixture done, we're gonna add our cucumbers straight into the bowl along with our sliced red onions. And we wanna give this a nice, good toss to combine. Okay. All right. The last thing we're gonna do for this recipe is add a little bit of fresh dill. We are going to add one tablespoon of fresh dill. And I just like to tear it with my fingers a little bit. You don't even have to chop it if you don't want to. Having some nice, long, kind of wispy pieces of dill is actually really beautiful and uh, gives a lot of great flavor. So now let's give this one last toss. I'm not normally a fan of dill. It's not like my favorite flavor, but for some reason in this recipe, I absolutely love it. 
And now all you have to do is take this bowl and pop it in the fridge. You could cover it if you want or uncover it is totally fine. We're gonna let it refrigerate for about an hour so it gets nice and cold. All right, guys, this cucumber salad has cooled down really nicely and I'm ready to give it a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my healthy recipes playlist. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. Guys, this cucumber salad is so incredibly refreshing, only takes five minutes to make, uses minimal ingredients. You literally have to give this a try. It's such a good one. I'll see you in the next video.